Hi, it's Michelle Birdsong in New York City. Also, I'm also known as Mild Red Songbird. I did a little um, children's book, and I want to share it and explain it because it might not be clear to people since I'm sort of new at this and never seen anything like it probably because it's handwritten because I have been homeless for years and um, unable to type. I've written so much. I have, you see, that, see those papers over there? All those bags full of papers, research that I've done. And there's plenty more in that over there. There's, there's more, but let me just do this so you can understand it if you care to. Mainstream and clues to the marginalized. I'll get closer. Mommy, who do we hate? In parentheses, the subtitle is Straight Talk to Children. And here are some of the subjects we'll talk about. Plant, parenthood, IRS, um, people who act like snakes, dogs, frogs, and polywogs, toxic thinkers. Okay, so that's the cover. I did a little song bird here. Okay. One day it just came to me to do that. I thought, wow, it took a really long time <laughs> for me to come up with such a simple logo. It's not a put down on myself. I, I'm stopping that. I don't do that anymore. Okay, so let's read the text. Mommy, who do we hate? People who act like snakes and dogs, frogs and polywogs. And then I wrote, draw me a picture, darling daughter of mine. Okay. And there's room here for her to draw a picture. Mommy, at the bottom, who do we hate? Snakes. Their thoughts make the earthquakes. People who worship the sun till their skin bakes and burn like a worm squirms. Slimy behavior takes a turn on top. Now that could be confusing. That is that confusing? Slimy behavior takes a turn on top. It's just like saying uh, the top government officials are slimy sometimes. We have a new start now, so I have great hope. They are so, but this is still talking about the ones who are slimy, <laughs> which means corrupt, liars, smearers, bullies, you know, like that. You think the government can't be bullies? What is the IRS if not a bully? If you don't give them as much money as they want, they will put you in jail. Ask, what was his name? Wesley Snipes, you know, for one. Al Capone for two. They are so radical, they have to be stopped. They want to boss the whole world. That's not fun, is it, little girl? No, it's not fun to be bossed around, especially when you're grown. <laughs> and you, you know, and you're working and you're giving the money. Of course not, and especially in America, because we're supposed to be about liberty. That's why people like to come here. Okay, next page. Um, mainstream and clues to the marginalized. And mommy, who do we hate today? The IRS. Also, if you, you turn the words around, it spells S-I-R, sir. <laughs> it's, words are my hobby. I kind of decode them. So then I say, they spent $4 million. Do you realize that's a lot of money? Uh, so they spent four million dollars of our dollars for a weekend party. That happened. They got busted for that. I doubt anybody got prosecuted, but that that came out. That for what in the world were they doing for four million dollars? I know they were taking dance lessons, and oh, I know they dressed up like Star Wars characters. It was our money, you know? See. Uh, so I say here, darling, if you had four million dollars of taxpayers' money, what would you do with it? Please draw me a picture of the crime. Of 
course it's a crime. You think they, somebody, you think it's okay for them to spend four million dollars on the weekend of our money? Government has no money. They they use our money, and they borrow money based on our birth. How how based on how how long we'll work. They put a number on your birth certificate, and they own you. If you if they don't pay back this trip, what is it, sixteen trillion dollars? It's it's just unfathomable. It's so much money. If they don't pay it back, we are the collateral. Do you know that Renee Oliver told me that? Because she saw it on YouTube. So uh, let me continue. Mommy, who are taxpayers? What is a taxpayer? And then Mommy says, a person who works and gives the government money from which, from what he, he or she is paid. In other words, I have a job and I have to pay into Social Security for one thing, and I don't know, they have so many taxes. It's, 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 tax is just an excuse to take more of your money. You know, and America was supposed to be different from that. That's not the way the founders set it up. So now that I've said that, I talk, go on to talk about um, the IRS. They are one of the most powerful groups of people in government. They get to tell you to give them a whole lot of money from what you are paid when you work. If you don't pay them or pay as much as they demand, they can fine you, which means charge you more money, or they can put you behind bars, sometimes for a long time. Now that's called jail. They can put you in jail. I mean, of course it's not legal. I mean, who would, how, how, that, no, that's not legal. There was a time when we didn't pay taxes at all. And once they opened that Pandora's box, once they started charging taxes, they don't shut up. Now Trump says he wants a trillion dollars for infrastructure. I listened to Mark Levine tonight. You should really check out. He is so knowledgeable about government. He's also an attorney, so he's knowledgeable about laws. He's fascinating to listen to. And he was he was going on. It's the 18th of November show. Listen to that. You will learn so much. And you'll, you'll begin to see what a mess we have in this um government thing, which Reagan said, government is the problem. He got that right. He also said, if you don't save this place, there's no place to run, you know. So it's it's either you pay attention to what is going on in your, which have to do with you, and um, so that's that. So, oh, this is a story I heard someone tell. A crook. A bad man said if he had to live his life over, he wouldn't be in the mafia. He would be a politician. They legalize their crimes. And sad to say that that is true much of the time. They do. So I say here, will you draw me a picture of what you've learned? Drawing is fun, don't you think? There's a blank sheet of paper for you to draw on on the next page. Because I didn't leave that much room on this page, so I got another one for you. This is your drawings paper. I'm almost done. Mommy, who do we hate today? I did it already. Oh, oh I'm back at the beginning, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, so that's, that, that's the book. I'll probably put it on Kindle for $2 or something. And uh, I hope you'll get involved with um, YouTube <laughs> because television, you'll never hear the truth on television. Everybody knows that. I mean, the media is so in the tank for the Democratic Party, you know. So I don't recommend television. In fact, it's an insult, you know, to, for them to be calling themselves news. And then all they're doing is shock, shock you every half an hour. Do you know what this ha person did and that person did? And it's sensationalism. That's all that is. Okay, so that's it. I'll talk to you again when I have more books to read to you. 
How am I going to make money if I keep giving away my books? Don't worry. I'm not worrying. I don't do worry. Somebody asked Deepak Chopra. I think I got his picture here. I do. It's a thumbnail. Somebody asked Dr. Chopra how he handles his worries. He said, I don't do worry. <laughs> that was the best answer I've heard in my life. What do you mean you don't do worry? He means he controls his mind. I was listening to Joel Osteen today. I'm reading two of his books at one time. But um, he was giving a pep talk. And I listened very closely because I, uh, you know, I get discouraged sometimes. Here, where's the other one? Here's the other one. And after I had done just a few of the exercises, he said, which was one thing was keep a... Um, what you call it, keep a compliment file. I heard that before. It may have come from him originally. But write down all the compliments you've ever received. Write down what you like about yourself. And I did that. And the next thing I know, I was, uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was calling Carly, my friend. You know, I, I took initiative and did something. You know, usually I wait for her to call me. But I called her and, and I felt, I actually felt, more alive, more animated. You know, when you're positive, you have more power than when you're negative. You know that exercise where they have you hold out your arm and then they 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 say, think a negative thought and you think it and you, they push on your arm, your arm sinks immediately. They do it again and they say, Dr. Wayne Dyer did this and somebody else. Mm, I don't remember, someone else. So think a positive thought. And then they press down on your hand. They couldn't move on your arm. They couldn't move it. That's just a that's a physicalization of the concept that positive is strong, stronger than negativity. That's how we're going to win because we're positive. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.